she was trying to flap to get to safety, getting hit by waves after waves. So you could see her energy was diminishing, slowing down. One day I was out rafting. Once the tidal bore came in, five of them took off and one of them remained, which was weird. The water comes in and it hit her. She was just trying to jump up a little bit. It looked like her feet were almost stuck in the sand. And then all of a sudden the tidal bore actually knocked her in the water. And we're like, okay, this is definitely not normal. Eels aren't really meant to be in the water. Once we got into a bit of calmer water before the next section of waves, that's when we were able to corral her and pull her out of the water. Definitely some nerves in the beginning. You could see how big her pounds were. Couldn't communicate, but she definitely let me know what she liked and what she didn't like. She was probably super overwhelmed. When I got in the boat, I had my hand on her chest and her heart was just pounding. She did bite me when she got in the boat pretty good. Powerful, powerful jaws. Bite. She was just trying to protect herself, but I was hanging out with her for about an hour. She was actually surprisingly calm. As long as I didn't make any sudden movements. 10, 15 minutes into the ride, her heart rate slowed right down. I was going through trying to call places to come help. And she was just chilling. She was fine. The most beautiful eyes you've ever seen. Probably spent a good part of the trip home just staring into her eyes. It was cool, the rescue was a good feeling. When you get up close and personal to an eagle like this, very thankful you get to experience this once in a lifetime eagle rescue. To be able to give back and help out, it comes around full circle. I think a lot of people are really surprised how calm she was. We wrapped her up, put her back up to lodge. We didn't know the extent of her injuries. After the x-rays, they found out that she kind of suffered ligament damage. There's lots of dress hanging out. She didn't waste any time scarfing down the fish. We knew that we had to let her go. And we got to re-release her as soon as she was strong enough to take off. I want to make sure she's okay, you know, almost like a protective parent. Or we wanted to see her back out in the river again doing really well. When we release her, we were just happy because we know that she'll be out there. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. It's really hard to put the experience in words. One of the best hours of our life.